Efforts to modernize Michigan's infrastructure have ramped up in recent years, and today we are getting some feedback, finally. The American Society of Civil Engineers presented Michigan's infrastructure report card in Lansing, and overall, the state received a C-. minus. These grades should be unacceptable to every Michigan citizen. Keep in mind, even with the infusion of federal infrastructure dollars and the governor bonding program, we still have a significant underinvestment problem here in Michigan. Now, not the best grade, but although it is an improvement from the 2018 report card where Michigan got a cumulative D plus. Still, though, the group says that grade indicates that the state systems are, quote, mediocre and need attention. Now, the purpose of this evaluation is to help residents and state leaders make decisions on how to modernize. The report card looks at 14 different categories, including roads, dams, schools, energy, and a lot more than that. It's all listed right there. Now, the report it credits major state and federal funding for the better grade, naming programs like Whitmer's Rebuilding Michigan Plan and Biden's Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. These grades should be unacceptable to every Michigan citizen. Keep in mind, even with the infusion of federal infrastructure dollars and the governor bonding program, we still have a significant underinvestment problem here in Michigan. Now, there is some good news here. Of the 14 categories, seven of them were higher than the national average. Now, this comes as orange barrel season is coming to Kentwood, the city announcing its summer road construction schedule. The nearly $10 million reconstruction, resurfacing and maintenance program was approved by the city commission. It includes improvements of more than 27 miles of road. Work is expected to start this month and end in October. Planned projects include reconstruction, uh, reconstructing 52nd Avenue Southeast and Meadow Lane Drive Southeast, as well as other preventative work all throughout the city, like street marking and patching. And message boards on major streets will give advance notice of when closures are going to start, so look out for that. More information can be found, including a project map, on the city's website.